You can tell by the shirt, you know what today's episode is all about. Let's go. Hello everyone, it's Jenny from WeNeedAVacation.com. Welcome to Escape TV, where each episode we get you back to the Cape and Islands. We're at the Cape Playhouse in Dennis, one of the many great things to do in the area. Here are some other fun things to do while you're here. A couple of things on the town of Dennis is that it's seven miles from north to south. We're really fortunate in that on the north side we have Sisuit Harbor, and on the south side, we have a share along with the town of Yarmouth, the Bass River area, with that harbor area. So it's lots of things to do with water, whether you're out on kayaks, whether you're on paddle boards. It's just a great place to be. And if you just really want to zone out, you've got the beaches that are wonderful. But of course, we do have the best beaches. Well, remember that one. And if you're not so much into the beaches, we have other things to do. Uh, recently, the town has put in uh, pickleball courts and that's around the Wixon School area. So it's something a little bit more active that you might want to do. And then in addition to that, we have the bike trail. And we have two really great bike shops on the bike trail, so it's easy to get to, easy to, to rent the bikes and just enjoy Dennis and just moving around through that one. And then when you're done with that, we have plenty of theater. We have the renowned, you know, Kate Playhouse. We have the Kate Museum of Art. We also have the Cape Cinema. So there's plenty of things to do in Dennis at different times, whether you want to be inside and out, great restaurants, just a wonderful, wonderful place to do, and plenty of places to stay. With so much to do, you're going to need a place to stay. Let's go look at some homes in the area. On the ocean or by the bay? Well, when it comes to homes in Dennis, you definitely have your pick. We'll start out on a bayside private beach. Property 1994 has actually been on WeNeedAVacation.com for over 20 years. And trust me, we jump at every chance we get to see it. This charming, completely rebuilt custom home has three bedrooms plus two loft areas, five bathrooms, a barbecue area, and a massive deck that features views from Plymouth to Provincetown. Just down the road is Property 19734. When you enter this cube cape, you're immediately hit with an open floor plan and a ton of natural light from the skylight. The home features four bedrooms and two bathrooms and is just a short walk from everything Dennis has to offer. Tell them to go over to our corporation. They, they put a brand new, which you can walk down, they put a brand new refreshment stand there and uh, they got hamburgers, hot dogs, they got clams, all kinds of stuff. It's a really nice setup. And I tell them to go to Dennis Village. There's a candy st store for the kids. There's ice cream shop, there's two or three fine dinings right there. Uh, it's got a nice uh, public market there too. On the other side of Dennis is a gorgeous five bedroom, three bathroom home that sits right on Nantucket Sound. It's tough to beat the views from this home as you sit on one of the many decks. You and your family and friends will have easy on and off access to the private neighborhood beach with everything just steps away. So we're on the Nantucket Sound here, right out here. Uh, where the water is warm and shallow, no rocks in front of the beach. The beach is like our, like our, our biggest selling point here. Um, very, very good for kids to play. Uh, we get the waves, but we don't get those big crashing waves with the undertow. Like I said, it really doesn't matter which part of Dennis you stay. Just be ready to kick your shoes off and take a breath of that salty air. Dennis has so much to do, whether it's inside or outside. Let's take to the rail trail. One favorite Cape Cod outdoor activity is biking the Cape Cod Rail Trail. With over 22 miles of paved path through the towns of Yarmouth, Dennis, Harwich, Brewster, Orleans, East Ham, and Wellfleet, it is perfect for biking, walking, running, and inline skating. There are many spots to rent a bike along the trail. One of them has been around for quite some time. It's Barb's Bikes, located in the town of Dennis. Um, pretty much anything, anything from little kid 12 inch bikes to higher end road racing bikes. Um, we have kid trailers, we do a lot of rentals. We probably do um, 8,000 rentals a season. From here all the way to Wealthy, it's about 23 and a half miles. But there's other options too. You can go to Chatham, 
all the way to um, the end, which is about 12. And there's other options as well, like you can go to Nickerson State Park, which is connected. You can go to Coast Guard Station. Uh, but there's so many, so many things you can do. There is no doubt that hunger will set in at some point while biking the trails. Luckily, there are a number of places to stop and grab a bite to eat. And if you're in need of a break, Coast Guard Beach is the perfect spot to hop off your bike, take in the gorgeous scenery, and take a dip to cool off. Biking the rail trail is definitely a wonderful way to enjoy the Cape. After a long bike ride, you're gonna to wanna to cool off. Let's head to the beach. One special reason people visit the Cape is for the beaches. Dennis offers 17 ocean beaches and two lake beaches. Here are a few of our favorites. Princess Beach is located off of Route 6A on Scargo Lake. This sandy beach provides seating in the sun or shade overlooking calm and warm waters. The scenery includes sailboats and from the water, a peak at Scargo Tower. Corporation Beach and Howes Beach are neighbors on Cape Cod Bay. Corporation Beach to the west is a larger beach with more parking and Dennis Public Market's Surfside Grill. Also available for the kids is a small park with benches and swings. Down from Corporation Beach is House Street Beach. It is smaller with a walk over the dunes from the parking lot. Mayflower Beach may be the most popular bay beach in Dennis. What strikes me when I am walking Mayflower is how incredibly soft the sand is. This vast beach welcomes hundreds of people each day, so best bet is to get there early. That's all for this episode. We'll see you next time.